Welcome to our channel. Today we invite you to join us as we delve into the powerful words of Ephesians 2. This chapter speaks volumes about grace, redemption, and our identity in Christ. It reminds us of the incredible transformation that occurs when we embrace His love and mercy. As we read through this passage, take a moment to reflect on its profound message and how it applies to your life. Whether you're familiar with the scripture or hearing it for the first time, we hope it inspires and uplifts you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today in prayer to ask you to guide us through the reading of your word. We pray for you to speak to us and give us understanding as we read each word. We pray that you reveal your wisdom to us. We pray these things in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin. Ephesians chapter 2 As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath, but because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Therefore remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands, remember that at that time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners, to the covenants of the promise without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his Spirit. Thank you for joining us in exploring Ephesians 2 today. We hope this powerful chapter has inspired you and deepened your understanding of God's grace and our identity in Christ. Remember, we are saved by grace through faith and called to live out our purpose as God's handiwork. If you found value in this reading, please like, share, and subscribe for more scripture readings and reflections. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Ephesians 2 in the comments below. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking His Word. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you.